Remember this comment I made in one of my recent creating and living vlogs? Procrastinating on making from this basket are things that I want to work on or finish off in the near future. I will share with you how I get along with making them. Well, this episode of our creating and living vlogs, we are going to be tackling this box my ufo box this box contains all my unfinished projects that need to be completed i made myself a pledge that before we leave this house which we're going to be leaving very soon i would be completing all the projects that i didn't get to finish um, and i think it's fair enough isn't it now i'll let you know what's inside this box currently i have finished a, a top which was actually supposed to be a mock-up of a self-draft project that I've done with Simply Sewing magazine. That mock-up I really like. I completed it last night. I just need to give it a press. This jacket, I love the style of it. It's worn by Nikki Cook Patterns, but this pattern isn't available on her website anymore. But it's something that I got close to two years ago. The second thing that I need to actually sew is this sewing pattern by Cosido Studios. And she has a few sewing patterns on her website and I'll, I'll put the link to her website um, in the description box below. As soon as I'm done with these two garments, I can start the moving vlog proper. Now, I'm really excited about that because I want to share the process of packing things up and getting ready to move into our brand new home. So, I am absolutely excited. Let's do this. I would normally um, press as I create garments, but because this was a test or a twirl or a muck up, I didn't bother going on with the whole process of um, you know, pressing as I went on or as I sewed. Um, so now <laughs> what's happening is I have to press the seams, which is quite tricky. It's, I, I find it tricky to press after all the sewing's done. I prefer to, to press as I sew. My work always comes out neater when I press as I go. Come up and leave them, changing with the seasons But you know that shit ain't my style no, no. I just want the OG, it's always been it for me Yeah, you saw me when nobody would And he loved me good Through the bad and the ugly He never got on a This is what it's supposed to look like It's, um Yeah, you wear it and then you You pull the strings here for the sleeves And it has that gathered effect um, it's got a slit at the side and it's just a basic top. I don't need distractions, I don't need the fun. I just want the one that's been it since the day one. I don't buy the cheap pills, I just get the fun that I got with the one. I've got a few fabrics leftovers from a few projects I've done in the past and I just need to press and fold and store them or store the pieces away because black gingham is premium <laughs> it's premium stuff one two three four i want to give it to you i got the voice in my head and i mean i So the problem is I lost the manual for the sewing pattern. I have had a look at the parts of the sewing pattern, the pattern pieces, and I have an idea of um, how the construction would be. I've started off by joining the princess seam, put them together at the notches, and I am just going straight on with a one centimeter seam allowance. Seam two finished front of the dress complete over now to the back pattern I say back pattern but it's just the back pieces there's no opening at the back so I'm assuming this is gonna go through my head but I think it will fit if it doesn't fit I haven't done anything to the side seams yet so I will include a zipper on the side seam so I hope you see my thought process here but so far so good I'm trying my best to reduce the amount of pins that I use while sewing because I found that the act of taking pins out, like removing pins as you sew, sew, kind of slows me down. I don't know if you can see what's happening with my hand here. Can you see my hand? So I hold it out in an L shape, like that, 
and it's not really an L shape it's a bit like a V shape but just to hold the fabric down to make sure it doesn't move and that's how I try not to use pins <laughs> it works I see the looper threads come through I just stop and pull the needle threads through Inside. so now that I'm done with the actual princess seams like overlocking them I am I am just going to overlock all the raw edges like the pockets the sleeves and um, just get it out of the way and get straight into the project edges are clean I haven't overlocked the um, sleeve head I'm going to insert pockets on the sides there and um, after that I'll join the shoulder seams there insert the sleeves when the but the dress is open and flat after that I can join the side seams finish up the neckline and then do the hem so if you find yourself in this type of situation where you've lost the manual or the instructions for a sewing pattern have a look at the line drawings and it should give you a general idea of what you are required to do in order to create the garment it should be pretty straightforward to crack on with the construction of the dress and it's a square neckline which I really like I haven't I don't think I have a square neckline sewing pattern yet so I have this thing here that is a bust ham to pressing and it's great for ironing princess seams. I have a video on how I made it so I'll, le I'll leave the link to the video in the description box below. So essentially I put this under the bust section of this princess seam and it helps to give a seamless press. This is what I meant by attaching the sleeves on the flat and now I can put the dress together. I find it so much easier to insert sleeves this way. But when it comes to like doing jackets and like tailored stuff, I have to insert the sleeves like properly. Like set, set in sleeves? Yes, yeah, set in sleeves. I just love these gathers. The gathers go all the way down to close to the um, bust line. It's just unique. <laughs> Can I dance for you? Would that be cool? Can I dance for you? Would that be cool?
Once my body gets to swaying Promise you won't be complaining And I'll be saying, yeah Hi! We're now on to the last project from my UFO box Now, this one was cut out just like the Anok dress This one was also cut out ages ago. It's a pattern called the Tuck Pocket Kimono Jacket by Nikki Cook Patterns. Nikki Cook is a pattern designer. Nikki kindly made this sewing pattern and sent it to me. Now um, it's just cut exactly to my size and there aren't any instructions so I have to figure this out myself. dinner just so she could fit a dream drinking in compliments but they made her hungrier with every pinch her mirror was a warden thinking behind bars like hair and a light heart until she knew it wasn't until i broke her free came bouncing in a piece looking at her round face brown hair yeah i like her There's a bit of a shadow, which means that the fold will be facing downwards. And I must say, this is one of the things that I like about constructing garments. Um, I like to look at line drawings and figure out the best way to construct a garment, as long as I know which parts need interfacing and all of that. There's a box on the actual jacket to show where the pockets should go, so I will be using that as my guideline. There also needs to be some top stitching at the sleeve joins, so we need to get that done. And then I need to overlock all the edges because this is not a lined jacket. Currently, I am top stitching, but I have changed my mind and I actually have to unpick this because, well, I'll show you. Thing is, I think top stitching is supposed to be decorative, but then my top stitching is blending right in and you can't really see it. And I'm not happy. I want to show off my beautiful top stitching. So I'm gonna unpick this and find a thread that shows off the beauty of the top stitch. Because I've used um, like a navy green. Is there a thing like navy green? Army green? Yeah, like a dark green, very dark green to match this green here, the dark green. So I'm even thinking if I have a, a thread as light as that blue, I'm going to use it. And I might also unpick the top stitch on the pockets, the patch pockets. <laughs> is it recording? Yes, it is. Okay. Hmm. this there or the greens I think that green maybe the lighter green there I'll use this green oh I've seen another green oh okay so maybe I'll do a poll let me put a poll on my um, on my YouTube community wait one second one more second oh this is exciting Pocket 
have been top stitched now so I made some marks using <laughs> using this pencil or a fabric marker so I need to figure out how to get rid of the marks luckily it has an eraser it's running out now but anyway I'm gonna get rid of the marks Guess what I've just realized? I stitched the, oh, this is so annoying. I've stitched on the other part of the jacket to the pockets at the back. So I need to unpick it and redo it. Sorted. I have the jackets, the fronts laid out, lay the back on top of it. So I need to join them at the side seams there and join the side seams there. Or maybe I need to figure out how to do the lapel. I have pinned this together, like these two sections together. So I think this would form the collar. So put this over my head like that. And then I can join the back together at the shoulder seams. So I'm going to, I'll do that first. I would have to mark the center point of the back neckline. Here's my notch. I walk the walls to my every bone for the damage. And I knocked on doors till my hands grew brittle and brittle. So here we have the, yeah, the shoulders are joined together now. Okay, front joined to the back we open this and we would have the collar there oh I just love it when I crack these things <laughs> that's it and I actually think it was a great idea joining them together here before sorting out the side seams yeah exciting so because I wasn't too sure about the um, neckline of the front of the jacket I didn't overlock the edges. I overlocked the edges of the back one on this side. No, on this side. But I didn't overlock this side. So now I have to maneuver and figure out how to overlock this side. Even when they feel heavy, I'm proud of every part of me. I shut my mouth till I lost my voice in the silence. And I bent my back till I learned how to carry the weight Put my body and mind on a trial till I found alignment Still remember how the pain felt But I never wanna change it Cause I'm proud of these eyes Cause they see me through some hardship Proud of those nights when I didn't think I'd make it Ooh.